So a couple of days ago, I saw this comment by Vimal Ramachandran on Where's Wally's channel, and he stated, I heard Bob of Globebusters saying in a recent show that the EQ mount tracks the sun with one axis of motion because the circle it traces in the sky is so large that the local path over our head is like a straight line. Now remember, Bob Nodell was busted lying about being a commercial pilot. And this is the web archive of his profile on the FEIC website, where it states he is a commercial instrument and multi-engine licensed pilot. However, as we know, the FAA record confirms that he is only a private pilot single engine. And when this was exposed, he quickly changed the profile. It now no longer states that he's a commercial pilot. It simply refers to his experience as a pilot. So as we know, if you catch a person telling just one lie, you really can't trust anything they say from that point forward. But anyway, let's look at this claim because I've seen other flat earthers make it as well. And the claim is that the circle the sun traces in the sky is so large that the local path over our head is like a straight line. Now, this is complete nonsense. And the reason it is nonsense is because in the summer months from Sydney, Australia, for example, on the 14th of December, we have 14 hours and 23 minutes of daylight. Now, on the flat earth model, the sun is moving in a 360 degree circle every 24 hours. So 12 hours would represent half of that circle. 14 hours of daylight means we can see the sun for more than half of this circle. So to make a claim that the local path over your head is like a straight line completely contradicts the flat earth model itself. 14 hours of daylight means we are seeing the sun move for more than half of this circle. So I'm sorry, Bob, and any other flat earther who actually believes this, but it just proves you still don't understand how the equatorial mount works. Now, I believe they're having another flat earth international conference in about six days. So if you're paying good money to go to this conference, why don't you ask Bob why he lied about being a commercial pilot? Or perhaps ask the other speakers if they knew Bob was lying about it. Were they part of the deception? Or were they just being duped by Bob as well? I'm genuinely curious. I've asked this question myself on Bob's Globebusters channel, but my comments get deleted.